Hi, I'm Brent. Today I've got a video update on some of the things you can look at on the Subaru range of cars that are commonly causing oil leaks. Now, that doesn't mean that every Subaru suffers oil leaks, but every manufacturer always has its strengths and some weaknesses, and there's always certain things that are known to fail over time related to the model and the brand of car. And in the case of the Subaru series engines, if you have an oil leak over a long period of time, and we're talking typically 100, 150, 200,000 Ks, it'll be out of the rocker covers. But as we progress to the new uh, FA and FB series engines, that's the migrated engine from the old EJ series engines, they've got a slightly different design on the way they're manufactured. They've got a lot more uh, internal gasket sealant and not gaskets themselves. And we're finding there's a bit of a trend on where to go looking for the oil leaks. And beside me, I've started to, we've started to pull the front off the engine. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So above me is where the, normal, the engine normally sits. And you can see is the front of the five-speed transmission because this is a manual transmission car. And being a Forester, it is a four-wheel drive car. So let's just have a turnaround first of what is normally on the front of the engine so you know what we're looking at. And that's what you would normally see at the front of the engine with the crankshaft pulley sitting on the front, the oil filter sitting on the top, and the front of the dual variable cam control, and that's where you put the oil in. So what you see inside is where the oil drains into the engine and the front of the timing case assembly. Now you gotta remember in the old EJ series, it was a, um, a plastic timing cover with a belt, whereas the new model engine has now got a chain or dual chains. And what happens over a period of time is on this particular engine, the, the uh, silicon seal around the front of the timing case does tend to leak. And you can see down here where it is a little bit wet. Um, even though we've had the, the cover sitting sideways, you can see it's not the best sealant over a period of time. And this particular client has asked us to fix the oil leaks on the engine that we've diagnosed. So that is one area to look at, but let's just have a look at the front of the engine and understand how it works. So you've got the crankshaft in the middle with the dual uh, chain sprockets driving the driver's side, or in Australia, the driver's side, um, inlet and exhaust, and these are the variable cam control assemblies. And on the left-hand side, it's a secondary chain, and it's got dual cam, uh, cam chain tensioners, so it's got a tensioner here which pushes down on that assembly to keep the chain tight, and this one here pushes up and does the same thing too, because over a period of time, this chain will start to stretch, but when the engine's not running, it doesn't have oil pressure, so the tensioner's not working as good as what it normally does, hence the reason why you'll notice the chain in some situations, depending on the position of where the engine stopped, is a little bit slacker than you would normally see when the engine is operating. But one of the things that we wanted to show you, which is quite interesting in the way Subaru manufactured these engines. So you can see the engine is split in the middle because that's the way it's assembled to get the crankshaft. And you've got the pistons inside operating in a boxer fashion. And then you've got the outer parts of the uh, block and you'll see there's a joint there and there's a joint there. So that's what you typically call a block assembly with the rotating assembly of the pistons, conrods, and crank in the middle. And then on these engines, you've got a, a head assembly, and then you've got an upper um, assembly as well with, with a joint in between for the rocker covers. Now, you'll see there's one joint there, and then there's another joint there. So unlike the old EJ series engines where you had a head with a rocker cover, these engines have what they call a cam box with a rocker cover assembly over the top. So you can see around the side here, we haven't pulled it off yet, and you can see where the oil has been leaking out of the exhaust manifold, which is what the client wants to fix, because he hates that smoky smell whenever he runs the car and this exhaust manifold gets hot and it burns the oil off and creates a horrible smell inside his car. To fix the oil leaks on these engines, you've got to pull the rocker cover off first, and then if you want to fix the oil leaks for the cam box, you've got to pull all of the front of the engine and pull these camshafts out to get this secondary part of the cam assembly off the top of the head because between there and there is the head gasket but above here is only associated with a camshaft assembly so of course we won't pull this apart because these engines are not showing any signs of um, uh, head gasket failure some of the earlier non-turbo EJ series engines do suffer from uh, um, head gasket failure and oil leaks, and in an extreme situation, they can suffer from water failure. But in this particular engine, which is the FB series, and if you want to know how to tell, if you look down on the top of the engine, there's the FB25, which means it's a 2.5 litre non-turbo engine. The uh, turbo engines are typically FA, um, two litre. So 
there you have it. That's what you need to understand. If you're wondering what this part here is, this is the, um, the remote drive for the water pump, which sits down underneath the front of the engine. Um, and then you've got the exhaust manifold underneath. The inlet manifold sits on the top. And of course, that's the way the FB non-turbo engines operate when it comes to this package of parts. So these are still a common model being installed at the moment, turbo and non-turbo. But of course, if you want the turbo model, it doesn't come out yet with a 2.5, but that may be something super changed in the future. So of course, if you want to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, you can get some more technical information off mrtperformance.com.au. We don't tune these models because there is no reliable improvement to gain. But if you do have a model that we do offer tuning for, which is typically the turbo models, you can go to mrttuned.com.au and um, we can look after your car no matter where you are in Australia through our partner network. But for today, my name is Brett Middleton. I do hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about the Subaru FB 2.5 litre engine. Bye for now.